Never look at that! Oh, that's screaming. That is unbelievable. Oh, nice hit. Well done. Oh. The back. Not a bad sight. Oh, mate. Hi and welcome to Fishing WA, another awesome day to be on the water, magnificent weather, great show lined up, let's have a look. Once again we find ourselves at the Cowberry launching ramp, this time targeting reef fish on jigs. The calm waters didn't fool us, as we knew the wind offshore wasn't going to be so kind, but that wasn't going to stop us. Well today we're out from Cowberry, just to the north of the entrance, we're going to be doing a bit of demersal jigging. Now there's a little bit of wind around, but I'm pretty confident if we throw everything at them that we've got in our tackle box, we should get into some nice reef fish. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's better. Harry was just saying I'm going to get my other outfit rigged up. Drop my outfit down if you want. I was just trying the soft plastic. And we're just drifting fairly fast with this wind right now, so... Thanks, Harry. Don't mind an outfit that works. We're just going to mix it up today. There's a lot of wind around, which is sometimes typical of Cowberry. Sometimes you get it nice. Often it blows first thing in the morning. We decided to go out anyway, even though there's wind around. Thought we'll give it a go. We've got the sea anchor out. And we're still drifting at about 0 0.6, 0 0.8. What we're doing is mixing up. Harry's put the heavy extreme jig on. I think it's about 170 grams. Just slow it down now. There it is there. That's a pink snapper, Harry. Oh, nice pinky, mate. Thanks for lending me your outfit. No worries, mate. We're a tag team effort here. That's right. We're talking about just going out today. There's wind around, but there's also oh, look at fish that. around as well. Have a look at that. Harry, I love my demersal jigging. Oh, yeah. Cowberry pink snapper. I sort of have a knack of finding it. In this case, I found <laughs> okay. it on your rod. <laughs> so, um, we're going to mix it up today. We're going to use soft plastics. We get the McCarthy brand. We're going to use the extreme metal jigs. Just mix it up. I think this wind's not going to beat us, mate. We're just going to keep on fishing. No, we're going to plough our way through it, mate. We're going to get something here. That's right. That is a nice little pinky, that one. Yeah, we're a fair way north of uh, Cowberry, but uh, the aim today is to get demersal fish on jigs. And uh, ju Jewy Snapper, Bolchin. Oh, there's all sorts of things here, it's great. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll get the pliers and release this fish. Pretty fish. See those iridescent blue dots there? They really are pretty fish, sort of above water and underwater. Your lucky day, my friend. There it is on the top there. Tr trying to work out which way home is, there you go. Excellent. Well, I'm about to say Good congrats stuff. to you, but I sort of caught it as well, so <laughs> I'll congrats myself and a handshake myself. All right, mate. Team effort, mate. Yeah, well done. <laughs> no worries, Let's mate. get into the sound of showing a heaps more fish. Let's Excellent. do it. Let's go. Now, when the drift is fast, you want to make sure that you don't put your softy down the side of the boat. By the time it hits the bottom, it's going to be all the way out there. So with a fast drift, flick it behind the boat, by the time it hits the bottom, it's going to be more vertical. Being more vertical, it's going to work better. Now, talking about working better, this is the paddle tail. So there's two different ways you can actually use the soft plastic. Right, to get the best action out of it, you've got this one here, which is lifting up the rod tip, giving a bit of a flick, and then slowly letting it swim back down again. Lead head will bring it down, the tail will do all the wagging. So that's the sort of slow method. The other one is basically just giving it a bit more of a retrieve. Lifting it up, winding. By doing that, the actual jig head is coming up from the bottom like a fleeing bait fish, paddle tail is moving. So that's more of an upward sort of movement, doing the other slow way, lifting it up, letting it go down, that's more of the actual drop. So both work, no right or wrong, it's whatever the fish wants, if they want it, stick with it. Good fish. Get up. Get off the bottom. You're on mate. That's that was good a fish. fish I had. Good fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's probably got, uh, it's probably got a hook mark in there. If it does, then it's mine, mate, not yours. Oh, this is a good fish. Yeah, what's the outfit you're using there? Oh! Come on. Yep, I'm on. As well. I was just saying to Harry, here in Cabaret, it's so important to fish 
bite times. Yeah. Just have my glasses off, got water all over the glass. So, so important to fish at the bite times. And right now it's two o'clock with a minor bite time. I'm on not saying not as heavy as you, mate, but then again I'm on a heavier gear than you. True. I was saying to Harry, look, I know the wind's up, it is not the best conditions, but however, we don't give up. And the sandal was just a lively fish and one more drift, the old one more drift. We've been persisting for a while here, man. We have. And uh, persistence has paid off, I think. That's right. We don't get the luxury to travel up and down the coastline and fish every spot, best weather. With filming, you just got to do what you have to do. And the core to go out today was sort of like, it's going to be windy, but we'll give it a go. Oh, look at that. And voila. What's that? What do you got, mate? I don't know. Eat. Is that a cobia? No? What is it? It's a mac. No, no, it's got to bring it up a little bit higher. No? Oh, I just realised it's on. OK, we've got to be careful here. Yeah. Go under. That's a good fish you've got there, mate. I just don't know what you've got, but... I don't know. Cobia? Yes, Cobia. It is. Oh. Yep. How's that for you? Yeah, there's been a fair few Cobia up here lately. Is it Cobia? Is, Hang on. Yeah, I think it is. I just don't know, mate. Because I think it is. No, it's not. No, it's a mackerel. It is a mackerel. Oh, nice. Get that in there. Oh, yeah. That's a uh, narrowbard. Narrowbard mackerel on the extreme jig. <laughs> That's insane, mate. Actually, sorry, mate. Is it? Just very quickly, it's actually a broad bar. You can see all the bars are quite broad, and the, the fins here are very tall. You've actually got a broad bar mackerel, so not the narrowbard Spanish mackerel, broad bar. Good fish, man. Yeah. Here's mine, uh, I Harry. I believe that. All right. Oh, Harry. Mate, I said a big pink snapper. This is a massive red emperor. Yeah, mate. Have a look at that. Mate, that is absolutely Holy... awesome, mate. Let's get that in the net, eh? Holy snappers. <laughs> this is a big red emperor. This is huge, On mate. McCarthy, look at that in the sunlight. Yeah. The wind's up, but yet we can get the big fish. It's still good, it's still good. Still good. All right, you okay. want to swim that one yep. in? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. How's I... the landing net? Full of... Red Mate, Emperor. This is heavy. You want to give me a hand with that? Oh, oh look at that! Look at that! <laughs> to say I'm stoked is an absolute understatement. We're going to get out of the net and give you a close look. Well, Harry, I'm absolutely wrapped, mate. My biggest red emperor is about 8.3 kilos. That was on a McCarthy uh, bullhead minnow soft plastic. This is on, again, a McCarthy soft plastic. This time, it's actually what they call a six inch paddle tail. The color is a baby elf. I'm not a fan of baby elf, but other guys have been getting fish on it. I said yeah. to you, I'll give oh, it a try. Mate, all I know is I've seen some red emperors in my time, but that is an absolute monster, mate. That is mate. an absolute monster. Now, I'm only guessing without the actual weight scales right now, but if I had to guesstimate, the other one was 8.3 and was a lot smaller than this, I'd say it'd be close to around about 12, 13 kilos. Oh, yeah, easily, mate. Easy, 12, 13 easy. kilos. Red emperor, we're in 50 metres of water, north of Cowberry. Oh, it's mate, going off at the moment. <laughs> I'm pretty proud we haven't given up. The wind really is right up there. We're drifting fast, but uh, I reckon we're going to keep this fish, mate. Yeah, we're I gonna... chucked my Mackie back, mate, so uh, while well, you were pulling that one in, so yeah, Okay, keep it. absolutely. So nothing wrong with keeping fish whatsoever, but also we like to release in this situation. I'm going to be keeping this fish. Beautiful red emperor, doesn't get any better, mate. Are you going to share that for dinner tonight, mate? All right, dinner tonight's <laughs> Cowberry. That's Don awesome. Ryan.